Like, what have you seen? Like, I know, obviously dealing with a lot of media and everything. I know yeah. that's a big difference. But what was the biggest difference for you personally? I probably would say, you know, just uh, com communicating more. Uh, I feel like in West Kentucky, uh, I was kind of like, kind of shy just to be able to just talk to my teammates. But, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just to communicate, I feel like I've been a great job doing that. Just, just talk about being out here. Um, this makes it real at your hometown. How many folks do you know? Okay, I'm here today. Any, any family members? Uh, today? Probably like two or three. But uh, I love all my fans. You know, I try to. <laughs> Sign and take pictures with all the fans, interact with them, yeah, things yeah, like that. Yeah. How's it going so far? It's going great, man. Can't complain. This is a dream, just living out my dream, man. Just trying to take advantage of every opportunity presented in front of me. It's not every year that you get two guys in the same position group coming in in the same draft class. Can you kind of tell me about your relationship with AK and, and how y'all kind of get along together? Oh, me and uh, AK, we have a great relationship. We just like brothers. You know, uh, you know, sometimes with plays, if I don't know it, you know, he'll, he'll kind of help me, guide me through it. If you don't know it, it's kind of like the same way, but uh, it's great, man. I, I love the guy to death. Yeah. Do y'all like, I mean, today was really the first day that I felt like we got to see more 11 on 11 stuff, and there were a couple times that y'all are out there together, and do, do you feel like that energy when you kind of look over to the side and it's like, oh, there's my guy? Uh, yeah, I feel the energy, you know, I just try to communicate with him, like, man, let's meet me at the quarterback, let's get there, man, and uh, it's great, man, you know, he, he's just like me, same skill set, you know, he's just rushing, trying to get to that quarterback. So. Yeah, when you kind of uh, think about this this room, it, it's a young room, outside of Lorenzo, like, Ade is only in his second year, you guys are rookies, I mean, what do you think that you yeah. provide in this defense? Uh, me personally? Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I provide, you know, speed, um, versatility, but uh, you know, I feel like, like I said, all guys have the same skill set, uh, fast, strong, but uh, I feel like, you know, this year going to be a special, special year for every one of us. Yeah, Coach uh, Montesino was talking about this being like, he's like, we're really early in this. He's like, it's still a long developmental process. He, where do you feel like you are in terms of the playbook, getting the insult? I know Dean Pease has books on books on books of his right. book, but where do you feel like you are in terms of feeling comfortable in this game? Uh, you know, each and every day I feel comfortable. You know, I feel like Dan P, he's doing a great job with installing, uh, you know, just walking us through it and making sure that we really understand it. So, you know, I'm getting there. Uh, and then Coach Bonacino, what's it like working with him? I know it's only been probably a couple months at this point, but um, what do you like about working with him and what's his coaching style like? Oh, Coach Montino, I mean, he's a great dude. You know, I love him to death. Uh, you know, you know, sometimes he, he joke here and there, but like when it's time to get serious, you know, he'll definitely lock in. But you know, I love the guy. His his coaching style is kind of like uh, he like very hands on type guy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I, I love him. Though. What's some stuff that um, y'all been working on together over the course of the last? Gosh, week. <laughs> I probably just say, you know, uh, he told me just stay calm, be patient, you know, let the place come to you. And I probably just say he helped me communicate more, okay. just being more vocal as a leader. What have awesome. you seen from the rookie receiver, Drake London? What have you been seeing him out? Oh, Drake London? Oh, he's a dog. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I can't wait for, like, for the season. Like, even on Madden, when I, when I play Madden, I use Drake London. Use the skills every time. Like, dude, he's, he's a baller. Why? I mean, why is he so good out there? Just physically, mentally, everything? I mean, we can't see all of what y'all are doing the whole time. I mean, the dude just gifted. You know, he just just got the abilities. He was, he was blessed with it. And what are you seeing from the two quarterbacks, Marcus Mariota and Desmond? Have you seen a difference? Is anyone kind of standing out to you yet? Or describe what it's like? I mean, honestly, you know, uh, both guys, they, you know, they do a, a great job. And uh, I'm very excited just to see, like, where they go with the quarterback uh, competition. It's and great, though. Did it feel any different with the fans out there? Like, a little extra juice from the guys out there pushing it a little harder today? Or It did, though, especially, like, with the fans. Or especially, like, with the fans out there. Uh, I feel like it gave the team more energy. And we was just out there competing. Appreciate it. Thanks, Angelo. Thank you. Appreciate it. No